we started with call for applications and we received 6,533 applications. Find something that you care a lot about and throw yourself into it. Like uh, uh, the cancer thing that I've, I've recently become interested in or game theory or whatever it is for you. Figure it out because you can do a lot better at something you care a whole heck of a lot about than something else. Since 1998, we have been having challenges with security issue in Kenya, starting from the national government to ground whereby we find cattle rasters also fighting among themselves. So when this group came up, they saw the need of developing an app, a mobile application, which is acting as a communication system. Work on your solution, take it out, get feedback, and then do the next iteration. And then that way you keep on improving it uh, based on the feedback that you get from, from your audience. From my travel to India, to Europe, to wherever in the world, there isn't a mind, intellectual ability that I have seen anywhere that equals that of a Kenyan brain. And that is me saying this. Uh, presidential digital talent uh, program interns have uh, fully participated in this program, especially for the last three months. They have been involved in a number of activities, uh, which will come out as we present. They have been very supportive. I'm sure much of the achievements that we've, we've, managed, we've managed this far was because of the effort and the sacrifice that uh, they have made for the three months they have been in the field. From my experience, one of my friends recently got an accident and her hand was amputated. How will you identify that person with the fingerprints? That's one reason. Mm -hmm. There are some activities back in the communities. There are some activities that wear out the computer recognition mm -hmm. in these points, such that when, they, when it's to the record it comes, Mm. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's the same. Those are some of the reasons, actually, uh, Mr. Harry. That those exceptional circumstances that a voter will show up, but because of things that have, have happened in the course uh, since the registration to the time of voting, you will not be able to read their fingerprints. It's not our only problem. In Ghana, in 2015, they had what they called the district elections. And when I spoke to the chairperson, she told me they had the same problem. They went out and discovered that about 1.7% one, about 1 of the voters in a particular region could not be identified biometrically. So this year, they did an exhibition. They call it an exhibition, which is basically an opportunity for voters to verify their data uh, biometrically. So they went to that specific place to identify what the problem was, and uh, when they went to, when they started, they discovered it's just because of the economic activities around that particular place, which is closer to the sea, that most people had uh, messed up with their, with, their, with their fingerprints, so they could not be read. But that number also reduced to, from 1.7 to I think 0.9%. Uh, so that prompted the Ghanaian Commission to change the law in February this year. In 2012, they had a campaign called No BVID, that is No Biometric Voter Identification, No Voting. Being born and brought up in Nairobi, it's very, very, very different when you go to a county like Garissa. The first impression is, when you hear Garissa County is the grenades and the bombs and the everything, so you're just scared, very scared. But there's only one question at the end of the day. There are people living there. How do they live there? We went to one school that had 736 pupils, and the entire school has four teachers. What gave us hope is that we carried the name of the presidency especially when we were in our shirts, we got a lot of respect from those people, the teachers and the parents, and that motivated us to get going. I had the privilege to know the cultural diversity that we have in Kenya. 
actually being born in one county and not visiting your country is like locking yourself, living like a landlocked country. What are the objectives that we have for innovations? So you have three options, either to offer alternative solutions in government, so there are already existing systems, already existing applications and innovations, uh, no, systems and applications, uh, whatever it is, but you are able to come up with your idea that will offer an alternative solution. Right now, I'm in cyber security, information security, and all those little experiences help build who you are. Whatever you do, whatever you get a chance to do at that time, do it with all your heart and learn all that you can because it affects your present and your future. I would just say I've learned two important things. One is very simple, but also very important, which is when you're at work, you're at work. That means your other life should be the other life. I'm glad to see the numbers have risen from 100 to 400 and uh, all the best in your endeavors. So guys, we have a challenge ahead and I'm sure that uh, uh, given who you are and the promise you have shown, we uh, expect a lot more uh, and uh, raise the bar. Thank you very much.